feeling the effects of masculinity right now. I feel the testosterone. I want to go to war. I want a lightsaber. I'm a man. War. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a raining, raining, but it is only 76 degrees, so it actually feels nice outside here. It is May 24th right now. Raining, it's been raining the last several days. Raining the last several days. But anyway, I just did get back. They retinted this driver's side front window. Not that one, because there were no bubbles in it, but then they did this back quarter window. Now, ideally, you should park it out in the sun for the next couple days, but unfortunately, we ain't gonna have that. We do not have that option. <laughs> I don't have that option, I should say. So it's sitting in the garage, it's gonna be fine. It's just gonna take a little bit longer to cure. Um, they say, you know, if you ever got your windows tinted, not to roll down the windows and all that kind of stuff for about three to five days, which is fine because my car sits in the garage 98% of the time anyway, I hardly ever drive it, so. Uh, but yeah, those are done then. And that only now leaves the driver's side actual roll down passenger window and the front side, um, the passenger side front window are the only two windows that have not been replaced yet under that warranty. Because um, when I had them done, the back window, uh, back windshield started bubbling like in less than a year. Went back there. The guy told me that my whole car ended up being tinted with a bad um, roll of film. So pretty much all of them are going to go eventually. So there's only two more left and then the whole car will be redone. Good thing I paid for the lifetime warranty on it because that thing's already paid for itself. So anyway guys that is it. It is a rainy little bit thundery type of day today. Just going to relax the rest of the afternoon. I have an interview, phone interview, in about another hour. Was it 1.30? About another hour and a half. So uh, that should be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for now. More later. All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. It is getting ready to rain here today. It is only about 79 degrees today. But as you can see over there, the rain is getting ready to come in. And I'm going to try to get this done. What I got out here, I got my sprayer out for my spray gun, paint spray gun. I'm going to be putting on the first of two coats onto the back side of these doors and drawers for the uh, master bathroom. Now I'm using the cabinet door and trim enamel paint from Bear, which is specifically designed for these type of uh faces uh cabinet doors and drawers just specifically designed and with the primer that i got on there it's gonna go real good that's the same stuff i used in my kitchen about three years ago um, i got the color to match the gray in the marbleization that i did so hopefully <laughs> like i said i'm not a design expert but hopefully the color that i picked and i hope it's good because it's like 50 bucks a gallon for that paint but uh hopefully the color i picked will make it blend perfectly together so i'm going to get you set up here and i'm going to show you the first coat of paint as i do the first coat of paint on the back side of these doors and drawers now i'm doing the back side first because you always do the side that's not going to be seen first i've learned many many years ago because if you mess up it's most of the time hidden and you can correct your mistake by the time you do the front so that everything looks good to the normal person walking into a room. So let me get you set up here. I'm going to spray the first coat. Well, all right guys there you go first coat of paint is on that stuff was actually a lot thinner 
than I originally remember it being because when I did the um, the bat uh, the uh, kitchens <laughs> when I did the kitchen cabinets I used that exact same paint although I did use satin in the kitchen this is going to be a semi gloss so maybe that's the difference maybe that's why it's a little bit thinner but it is thinner than what um, the original one was now it is getting ready to rain as I just said so I got the first coat done that's going to dry it's really humid out here I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a second coat on there today because I need it to at least sit out for an hour to two hours but with the humidity like this probably going to take a little bit longer so I might not be able to paint those put that second coat on until tomorrow I want to try to get it done today so I can let them sit overnight and flip them over and put the first side on the front but anyway that is it right now guys I like that color I think that's going to look good with the uh, the gray and the marble so anyway guys that's it for now later guys as you just seen gray is on the base of the cabinets and I think that matches pretty good I don't know how well you can tell Let's see if I can get a good light shot of the like the gray lines the marble lines and then the gray countertop there goes my phone but yeah it's uh I think it looks pretty good I really think it looks pretty good so yeah, so that's it. I uh, I already did the back side of the um, cabinet, the doors, and the drawers. I did that yesterday. I did that this morning, the first coat. I am going to put a second coat on that when I flip over the doors in the garage. I'm going to flip them over and put the first of two coats on the front side of those doors. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to come in here and put a second coat on that, and then that will be done. Then I'll just have the second coat on the front of the doors and drawers. Put them all back together. I got the new hinges, uh, soft close, self closing uh, hinges um, coming tomorrow. But I'm probably not going to put them on for a week. I'm going to let that paint harden and dry. I had to do that for the um, kitchen ones when I did it. For some reason, it took a really long time to dry. But judging by the backs out there right now um, that I did yesterday, they are nice and hard where the kitchen ones stayed soft for a couple days i don't know if it was humidity what i have no idea but those seem pretty hard right now and it was really humid yesterday too if you remember um but anyway i'm going to flip those over in a little while here after the guy cuts my grass because i don't want any <laughs> grass clippings blowing in my garage and landing on the door so he's almost about done probably about another half hour and then i'll go out there flip those over and start the first coat on that it's where i'm at right now guys later All right, guys, it is a beautiful, it's only like 77 degrees out today. <clears throat> it is beautiful. It's cooler than what everybody thought it was going to be today, but it feels real nice out here. All the storms are gone. The humidity is way down. And as you've seen, I just put the first coat of paint on the outside of the bathroom vanity doors and drawers. Going to let that dry. For probably a couple hours two three hours and i'm going to give it a, another light spray again to kind of even everything out even though it's even now there's still you know little bumps and stuff in there which i'm going to cover up i'm going to spray it again but then when i spray it again next time is when i'm going to go and put the second coat on the base frame of the cabinets in there and then just got to wait for my hinges wait for it to dry put it back together but yeah anyway guys beautiful day I'm not doing much today. It's Saturday, Memorial Day weekend. Monday, I'm going to lower the flag half staff in honor of those that we lost fighting for our country. And yeah, guys, that's it for now. Later. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Memorial Day to you. I have my flag at half staff. 
as you've seen in previous video but this is airing a couple weeks later but anyway i was going to do a how-to video that's why i'm dressed in my little outfit here i was going to fix this sprinkler right here it's a gear driven sprinkler just like this one but unfortunately this one is a four inch gear driven sprinkler and i need a six inch gear driven sprinkler now i bought this probably a year ago because i was going to do it last year so i can't take this back <laughs> so now i have a four inch gear driven sprinkler for somewhere i don't have any of these on my property but uh yeah anyway i'm gonna have to run up to the store next time i'm at home depot and get a six inch one so that i can replace that one and do a how-to video on it so if you haven't seen it yet that means i haven't gotten to the store yet if you have seen it i've gotten there and i've already done it but that was this afternoon's project but that's all in the bag now so anyway it's a cloudy kind of gloomy day it is comfortable out though i think it's only like 78 degrees but it is memorial day i'm going to be doing a barbecue here um, later on this afternoon to kick off summer and that's it for now guys later i never want to lose their inspiration time for a cool cool change anyway guys this afternoon's project on my camera system i have uh what do i have six cameras one one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cameras. <clears throat> this one right here, which covers my living room, the main living room, the one right out here, right outside my room. It is that camera that is right up there. It doesn't switch over at nighttime to night vision. So as it gets dark and everything, this turns completely black. <laughs> can't see nothing because the night vision doesn't turn on so i have an extra camera here that i've had for a while that for now temporarily it's a big huge outdoor one but i'm going to put it in here temporarily till i can get another little uh camera like that one is so i'm going to swap this out real quick just so i can get the nighttime vision in the house again because um sitting there at night looking at it while i'm laying in bed it's a completely black screen if somebody were to come in or something i can't see anything so i'm going to swap that out right now and get you set up and here we go It's up there temporarily uh, if you can see right there I only got one screw holding it in because eventually I'm gonna take that down it's too big for in there and if you look at the way that it looks I mean it said okay I wish I can get it down just a little bit more but I can't that the adjustments on there won't let it come down anymore so I'm just gonna have to live with that for now but that is done I'm gonna listen to the song. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a beautiful, partly cloudy, 89 degree day here in Central Florida. And I have to tell you, I have to thank you one more time. One more time, I have to thank you. I reached, this morning I got up and I checked and I got 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Last night before I went to sleep at about 2, 2.30 a.m., I was at 9.98. So between 2.30 and 7.30 when I got up, I got two more subscribers. I know the name of the person that was the 1,000th uh, subscriber, some Omar Omira something reginious or something like that <laughs> i don't i don't know who it is they're, they look like they're uh they could be like mexican or puerto rican or colombian or something like that but anyway they were the 1000th subscriber 
but yeah anyway um <clears throat> this afternoon i went you have to sign up for adsense which is google's payment um option so i signed up for that that takes a couple days now to get approved and get your youtube account linked to the adsense then once that's done then youtube has to monitor my channel for they said about three to four weeks just to make sure i'm staying within the guidelines and all that then once that's approved then my monetization will become effective as of today june 1st even though this process takes about three to four weeks if everything is approved my monetization will start on june 1st which is what today is now they only pay out over a hundred dollars so i have to wait until i get a hundred dollars in revenue before they will send me a payment now that could take a month could take two months could take three months because let's say for instance if i uh let's say for the month of june everything goes through for the month of june let's say on my ads i only get 45 dollars in revenue they will not pay me let's say in july i get 45 dollars in ads they won't pay me because i'm still under the hundred dollar threshold so now for august let's say i get another 45 dollars that would be 135 dollars i'll have so i will get that payment in september because they pay on the 21st of each month they only pay once a month for the previous month or the previous running balance if it brings you up to 100 so technically i don't know how much i'm going to be making i will find all that out once i get monetized because they go ahead and break it down there's uh, ways you can look it up and everything um but yeah essentially i'm probably not going to get any paycheck or any payment until probably at least september unless i get a good viral video to hit and it shoots up my uh views and um all that kind of stuff and brings up my revenue but yeah that, that's how the system works it's not immediate which i kind of knew that i just didn't look too deep into it because i was still too far away when i was looking at it but now that i'm into it i'm looking into it more and uh yeah it's a little bit intriguing um all the different variations or variables that go into how much you get paid per thousand views because it's per thousand views best i can figure right now is i'm going to be somewhere in the two dollar and 75 cent to four dollar range depending on the content of my video that's usually how it works um like my how-to videos are going to give me a little bit more ad revenue than my around the house or taste test challenge videos that's just the way it works there's a whole scale and different um content that they go by but i will find all that out once i get monetized because i can look and see how much i make on each video um but yeah that's it guys i have 1000 subscribers i am in the process of being monetized i probably won't get a paycheck for a couple months and hopefully my subscribers will keep going up more people will find my channel because they're going to start sharing it now more because i got over a thousand so hopefully more people will find it i'll start getting a lot more views and start making some money but once again, thank you guys. Thank you very much. I know you're seeing this probably several weeks after um, is this all happened and everything. So yeah, that is uh, it for today, guys. I will talk to you later.